as a recruiter I'm looking for. Hello everyone, welcome back to LinkedIn Logistics. Have you ever wondered what exactly a recruiter is looking for when they're sourcing candidates for a particular role? Well, you're in luck my friends because in today's video we are going to discuss just that. As an executive recruiter, I'll share with you what I'm looking for in a candidate to help you stand out in a competitive job market. So, if you're ready to learn what it takes to get a recruiter's attention, then let's get into it. Here's the thing. Recruiters are looking for qualifications and skills that directly align with the job requirements and other criteria the employer is looking for. Pretty straightforward, right? This means having the right education or certifications or experience that matches what the company is seeking. The employer or hiring manager has provided a list of criteria to recruiters, either in-house or third party, of what they're looking for in the right fit candidate. Sometimes this list is extensive or so specific, it's like trying to find a purple unicorn from Hawaii who happens to have an SPHR certification. It's the recruiter's job to ensure the candidates they decide to consider and move forward for a role match these criteria as much as possible. This is going to be different depending on the position, the industry, and the company. Whether it's technical skills for an engineering position, strong business development skills for a sales role, or industry-specific knowledge in human resources, demonstrating your expertise in these areas is key. But skills alone aren't enough. Recruiters are also looking for candidates who show passion and enthusiasm for the role, industry, or company. This means not only doing your research and understanding the company's mission, values, and culture, but being able to articulate why you think you're a great fit for the role. Be the bright, shiny penny. Besides, sad, tired, and angry, they probably already work there. And maybe that's why they're recruiting. Beyond qualifications, recruiters are also interested in your potential cultural fit with the company. This includes factors such as your values, your work ethic, and your personality. Companies want to ensure that new hires will not only excel in their new roles, but also contribute positively to the overall work culture. During the interview process, recruiters will often assess how well you would integrate into the team and whether your values align with the company culture. So be prepared to showcase not only your skills, but also your personality and your enthusiasm for the role. As a successful executive recruiter of many years, who has interviewed thousands of candidates, I can tell you, most of the time the client will let me know what their culture is like and what they're looking for in a candidate beyond the skills and qualifications on the job description. Things like personality, assertiveness, and the ability to connect with people go a long way. Simply because they know what personalities are gonna fit with the company or the direct teams. So if you're working with a recruiting agency, it's important to treat your conversations with that recruiter as if they are interviews with the employer. Because as the recruiter, I'm vetting everyone I speak with to determine who I move forward to the client based on that conversation and what the client is looking for. It's also important to note that recruiters may consider your professional online presence. Your LinkedIn profile is often the first point of contact with a recruiter, so it needs to make a strong impression. A well-crafted LinkedIn profile that is written to promote you your skill sets, your experience, your personal brand can significantly increase your chances of standing out. In today's connected digital age, your social media profiles and online activity will provide recruiters with valuable insights into your character and professionalism. So make sure your online presence is polished and reflects positively on you as a candidate. Make sure your resume is targeted to the specific job you're applying for. It can significantly increase your chances of standing out from a sea of hundreds of applicants. 
Highlight your relevant experience, achievements, and skills clearly. And of course, your resume should be well organized, formatted in a way that shows your information neatly and free of errors. Also, if you speak a second language, make sure you call attention to that. I have a hard enough time speaking one language. There are times when speaking a second language can set you apart from the rest. It can also be very useful in a business setting as it can open up potential customers and clients to new markets. It might even be mandatory with some positions and companies. A few other things we sometimes look for are cultural intelligence. In our ever more interconnected world, individuals who have strong cultural intelligence hold a distinct edge. This is more than just language fluency or exposure to international environments, it's understanding unique cultures and how to thrive in them. Emotional intelligence, or EQ. This is a request sometimes in higher level executive searches for leadership roles. The capacity to understand and manage emotions effectively, as well as the ability to navigate social interactions and relationships with colleagues, clients, and stakeholders is very important for leaders. A candidate with strong EQ demonstrates empathy, showing an understanding of others' perspectives and emotions. Adaptability. While it may not sound like a rare skill, having a proven ability for adaptability can be a great benefit. Many companies find themselves inundated with work, particularly as they venture into new industries. Candidates who have demonstrated their ability to adjust to change and possess the flexibility to apply their skills wherever required within their organization is valuable. This can be especially valuable in a startup environment where it's fast paced and they're experiencing hyper growth. Self-starting. Many companies are busier now than they ever have been and with fewer employees on board. This surge in business combined with a competitive labor market has left many managers with limited resources to provide extensive training to new hires. While promoting oneself as a self-starter may not sound like a new idea, this attitude is more valuable than ever. Creative problem solving. Having the ability to proactively recognize issues, come up with a creative solution, and advocate for those ideas is a skill in high demand. Thinking creatively and generating innovative solutions can assist companies in avoiding future problems. Not everybody possesses this skill. So there you have it. Straight from a recruiter. By understanding what recruiters prioritize, you can tailor your approach to stand out as a top candidate. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe for more content from LinkedIn Logistics. If you found this video useful, check out my other videos where I talk about the profile photo and about sections in detail. These two sections combined with your headline are the top three sections to focus on if you want to optimize your presence on LinkedIn. Please like and subscribe to get notified when I post more videos on LinkedIn and other related content. Until next time, cheers for now.